Alright, so here I got a battle against some random dude, and I'm using a team that I'm trying to build because I haven't really built a team in a really long time. I usually just get my teams from people. The team that I did build supposedly ended up being an exact clone to somebody else's, so I probably just subconsciously copied theirs, but yeah. I'm using Choice Specs Polito just to hit shit hard. I'm using Mammoth Swine for Rocks and for Ice Shard because now Garchomp is officially OU. Here's one of my main sweepers, which would be Call Mine Jirachi. I haven't used that in a long time, although it is very effective. And the other main dude is this Alakazam. I'm um, sure you guys have noticed that Alakazam has been in a few of my videos lately, and it was quite threatening to my other team, so I just felt like using one for no reason. And yeah, I got. Fucking Hurricaneatus to hit you with hurricanes, and I got a Gastrodon because otherwise Rotom completely shits on my team. I used to have a Keldeo in that spot because I kind of want to use Choice Scarf Keldeo like Joey, but that's not gonna work because then Rotom will completely destroy my life. So, threats immediately popping out with threats, leading off with threats, just like what you're supposed to do. So, uh, fucking Genesec. Giant fucking threat. I figured uh, maybe he'd try to stay in here and go for a thunder. And then I could fire off a Specs Hydro Pump, as I believe happened to me in a battle. But he's probably not going to be as stupid as I am. He's probably going to U turn. Anyway, another threat besides that is a Keldeo. Although I do have my Alakazam with Psy Shock. So, um, to be honest, Keldeo is not really that much of a threat. As assuming I keep my Alakazam and my uh, Tornadus alive. Fuck. But, yeah, other than that, Raikou, uh, I don't know, I got Gastrid on for that shit. So, Jirachi, I guess if it's Calm Mind as well, it could give me problems. Otherwise, I have Mountain Swine to hit it with Earthquake. I got Gastrid on to hit it with Earthquake. And it could be annoying to my Alakazam, but Alakazam's got balls. It could hit it pretty hard. So, pretty much the only thing I'm threatened by immediately is the Genesec. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, immediately leading with some fucking big ass gigantic threats. He gets an attack boost. I don't give a fuck. I know Thunder won't KO me. Hopefully, he'll be stupid, but he's not. He's gonna go straight for the U turn. I could have predicted the Shaman, but I was just curious to see how much it would do to this Shaman, because I'm. I was pretty sure he would switch, just in case in the off chance he would stay in here and Thunder, I went for the Hydro Pump. Does a fucking shit ton to that Shaman. So um, now I'm going to go into my Hurricaneatus and expecting Elite Seed, he actually goes for sub, so I don't know, I guess it works out, but I'm just going to break it with U-Turn. Now I'm expecting the Elite Seed as I believe I go into Mammoth Swine, trying to get on my Stealth Rock because he has no spinner and I really want to get off some damage on that Genesect as much as possible, so uh, Stealth Rock is going to help because he's always going to be coming in here trying to check my shit and uh, I want some damage on him. So he goes for another sub. Surprisingly, he outspeeds, so that's probably why the the Hydro Pump did so much. He's probably not fully defensive or special defensive, that is. But in any case, I'm going to go straight for the Ice Shard. He doesn't have a Garchomp yet, so um, I'm a swine. Don't really need you that much, even though it could be useful. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to let it die. And that's going to allow me to bring in my Tornadus here and scare him out with the very obvious um, fucking thingy mabob, the Hurricane. But he decides to predict my U-turn like a boss. Very, very ballsy move on his part. And he goes to his Genesect, so my U-turn does absolutely pitiful damage. Now I'm going to go into Gastrodon because it's one of the very few Pokemon that can actually take a hit from this thing. Except he gets a crit, which fucking destroys my life. So I knew he would U-turn out into Shaman, but I was definitely not counting on that critical hit since now Gastrodon is essentially useless because I'm... Pro this Gastrodon's slow as fuck, and I'm probably not gonna be able to recover off any damage. So um, now it looks like I'm I'm short of a check for his Jirachi, but I can still handle it hopefully. So since he killed my shit off, I could have went to Tornadus here instead of death watering out the Gastrodon and saved it for later. But I just decided fuck it. He might have like T Wave or Ice Beam or some shit. But he doesn't, so he's going to go into that threat again. I'm going to go ahead and sack my Politoed. I predicted he'd go for U-turn. He actually ends up locking himself into Thunder, which allows me to bring in Carl's Jr. You already know Carl's Jr. about to destroy some shit. Uh, I guess you don't know, but 
Jirachi is a threat, especially Kalmon Jirachi. Um, in fourth gen, I used to have one, like when they were rare, when there was only like the Tanabata Jirachis. I traded for one on Smogon, and pretty much, I fucked over a lot of people with that Jirachi, because Jirachi was really rare, especially, well, really rare on Wi-Fi, that is, because, you know, there wasn't, I used to battle on Smogon too, where people looked down on down on hacks but shit has changed now man that was like five years ago that i'm talking about anyway i'm rambling here simply because um jirachi's gonna put in work carl jr the carl jr star if you guys are from the east coast um it's essentially hardy's but like i said i'm essentially rambling here just because this is pretty obvious i'm gonna set up a sub i'm gonna set up some call mines i'm gonna set up some thunders i'm gonna get some para hacks and not really too much to talk about here but uh yeah he went into this jirachi so i was kind of fearing he would also be calm mind sub calm mind that is but i'm going first so even if he was sub calm mind i should be able to beat him uh because i'm gonna break his subs and then i should be able to get the crit first but in the long run it looks like he's not running um a sub calm mind jirachi he's just running jirachi with thunder iron head and apparently no wish or something, I don't fucking know, but Jirachi's fucking him up because he really doesn't have too much to take a hit at once my Jirachi manages to get up a few coal mines, which it has. So he's been gonna bring in this Raikou, um, my Gastrodon died, so I can't switch that in. Not that I would switch out anyway because I'm sitting at like plus two or three. And Psyshock, so he's not gonna be able to call mine right along with me, which is probably what he was hoping. Hoping that I would carry the flash cannon instead of the Psyshock or the Psychic. But, you know, I do carry the Psyshock because Horse Juniors are running around, Horse is running around, and the only thing that Psychic would benefit really is to hit Garchomp's, but. I probably shouldn't be staying in here against Garchomp, and Garchomp's gonna get three hit KO'd by Psychic or fucking Psyshock regardless, so Psyshock it is. So, he's got his Horse Jr. left. Now, he essentially has to just U-turn, keep on U-turning with his Genesect, taking more Stealth Rock damage, so um, he's finally able to kill off my Jirachi um, the next turn after I kill off his own Jirachi, so um, yeah. I actually don't have too many remaining Pokemon. I believe I only have Alakazam left, so, um... No, I have Alakazam and Tornadus left, so... He's gonna kill me off with the Thunder here, and if I miss my Focus Blast with Alakazam, he will be able to win the battle. But, you already know, he did not win, because if he did, I would've hit that power button. So, <laughs> LOL, I hit my Focus Blast, and... Yeah, that's the game, so... Fourth Wi-Fi battle I narrated today. That should be that's like a new record or something. Comment rate all that shit. I'm out.